Hey everybody and welcome back to A I'm Hope. I'm Anastasia and today I have a special tutorial for you because it is a tutorial for my own original pattern that you can find on my blog which is amhooked.weebly.com This is just a little fun summer headband. Um, I am a big fan of headwear but it uh, a lot of the ear warmers and things get um, very hot in the summer for lack of a better term so this is made with a very open shell stitch um, I think it's technically called a V and shell stitch, but I even edited that. It's not really an existing stitch. Uh, you work it in rows and then you just um, stitch the back together. And you can add a fun little tassel like I did, which I will show you how to make. It's really easy. Um, I'm going to be using Lion Graham and Dolly Yarn in the Thunderbird colorway. And I'm probably going to have to actually cut in with my voice more than I normally do. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but <clears throat> just first of all, chain up a multiple of 8 plus 1 plus 1 for the foundation chain. For me, I did a foundation chain, believe it or not, of 82. I don't have a larger than normal head, but when you do this stitch, you skip chains and that makes it equal more of a normal base chain of like 60 for your head. I tried it with the normal base chain length and it was way too small, so I had to remake it. So without further ado, let's remake it. Um, if you're wondering how I got this to be perfectly striped, this is a different yarn in the middle. Um, and you can do that, you just change the color at the end of the row. And I can show you how to do that, or you can go um, on YouTube and see how to do that. But I'll see if I can show you how to do that. Um, so, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so believe it or not, I don't have this memorized. <laughs> wow. Um, so I am going to make a document. It's going to be available on my blog. I mentioned that before. Um, but I am going to be reading off of this. Uh, so you do your foundation chain of 8 plus 1 plus 1. I'm not going to do the full foundation chain because it would take forever to show you the stitch pattern if I did 82. So I'm going to do probably like 16 or you know something around there. 8 plus 1 plus 1. That's not even right. Something in the right count. Um, I'm using a 6.0 millimeter hook. I don't know what brand this is. This is like from the first set I ever bought. Not my favorite, but the only one I have in sex, believe it or not. You can use whatever hook you want. You want a bigger stitch, smaller stitch, whatever. Um, you are gonna have to adjust your stitch count though, just so you know, or your gauge. Um, but I am gonna try and make this as clear as possible. So, first of all, start with your base chain, however much you want, and then meet me back here.
row was I single crocheted in the first in the second chain from the hook. And this is all gonna be written on the screen too. And then I skipped three and I did five double crochets in the fourth chain to make my shell a chain one and then five more double crochets in the same stitch. Skipped three and put a single crochet in the fourth stitch. I repeated that and then ended the row with a single crochet, a chain three, and then now we're going to double crochet in the first stitch. So, um, it's technically two double crochets. You start and end your rows with the same thing. So what are we going to end our row with? Two double crochets. So you have your crochet. And then after you do your double in the first stitch, you chain six. Two. So that it can go over this shell here. You're not going to do anything with this big shell here. You're just going to just get out of the way. Maybe we can focus a little better. You're just going to um, try to focus a little better. Sorry, people. Um, so on this one, after you chain six, that's skipping the. stitch in that single crochet that you made in between the two shells. So you find that single crochet, you insert, you do a double crochet, this is how you do a V-stitch. You double crochet, you pull some more yarn out, you chain one, and then you do another double crochet in that same stitch.
snapshell at the end. And then we're gonna chain three. You slip, you chain two, and for the like little half shell here, and then you slip stitch into the top of the turning chain, and then you chain one, and you end up with this. Now it will look a lot better when you have a longer sample, but I'm just trying to do a swatch for you. Now, for row five, you chain one. And then you single crochet over that slip stitch. So right at that bottom of that chain, just pop a single crochet. So there's your slip stitch. Pop a single crochet right in there. Let's see.
That's news to me That's news to me